Saturday afternoon on the road in the SEC, the Rebels look for the ever so valuable road win over the Gamecocks of South Carolina. Marshall Henderson, the second leading scorer in the SEC, will bring his A game into Columbia, South Carolina as the Gamecocks get some final instructions as they try to snap this three-game SEC losing streak. They'll try to pull the upset here in Columbia. You know, this was a group that, that back was against the wall in South Carolina. They were 0-3 in league play. They had a sellout crowd. There was a lot of emotion in the building, and I think it really infused South Carolina early. So we are underway inside Colonial Life Arena. Ole Miss will now play some defense. That is the one area of concern for Andy Kennedy. There's Aaron Jones for the putback. The junior averaging seven points a game gets Ole Miss on the board. Aaron Jones throws it down off the inbounds pass, and Ole Miss is up eight here in the first half. We came out of the gate strong, made some plays, made some shots at the basket. We had a little bit of a lead, and then the next thing you know, they go on a big spurt. Oh, Marshall Henderson threes, threes. There's one from Jalen Shaw. I think it was just mentally. Like, they kind of made their run. We made a run at first, and it just kind of just took over the game. Had the, the crowd going crazy and all this, so we just had to bounce back and just, just regroup. A 12 to 1 run over the last 414. Frank Martin's club has opened up a five point lead. Greens flashes in front of Summers, who takes it to the basket. That's a strong move by the junior out of Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, here comes Ole Miss. Perez once again in the open floor to the basket, lays it up and in. Watch, he quick to the rim. Wow. 1.4 seconds to go before halftime, and the Rebels sitting on 27 points. So Ole Miss ties a season low for points and a half. They did that against Coastal Carolina. Well, at halftime of the South Carolina game, for me, I was disgusted with the way that we had played in the last five or six minutes. I really thought they had out-toughed us. Uh, and that's something that, that, that does not sit well with me as a coach. That's an area that we can control. At halftime, we were talking about just, just what we need to do to win the game and how we were gonna do it and how we just need to stick together through it all, and that's what we did. There's a takeaway by Martavius Newby, all the way in the open floor. He'll lay it up and in. Trailing by 10 at the half, the Rebels desperately needed the momentum to swing back in their court. With the game tied and the clock winding down, Jarvis Summers would find Anthony Perez wide open. Williams not even caring where the basketball is. That allows Perez out of the corner to bury a three. I had called for a screen. You know, Aaron Jones sitting there screen, and I saw Anthony Perez in the corner wide open. I just gave it to him. In that moment, I got tired, and I was like, I was ready to shoot because I know that it's going to be an important three in the game that can't make this win. And I was ready. Pass me the ball, and I, sh and I shot it, and I'm glad, they, I, I'm glad they went in. Well, the stretch, probably say for the last 90 seconds of the South Carolina game, it may have been our best 17, 18 minutes on, a, on the road in a hostile environment to this point in the season. Um, I'll even go back further. We're up five. Uh, Jarvis Summers, an 80% foul shooter, is on the free throw line for a two-shot foul. You feel pretty good about your chances. Uh, misses them both, and to compound that, Anthony Perez, who was the game MVP, just lack of not being in that situation very much, tried to get a ball, probably shouldn't have. He knows he made a mistake, ended up fouling a South Carolina player, so they walk 90 feet, knock down two free throws to make it back to a one possession game with under a minute to play. So we had a number of, uh, of untimely, uncharacteristic mistakes down the stretch, which could have cost us, but thank goodness we were strong enough, tough enough to, to get one last defensive stop. Much like the LSU game, just like the South Carolina game, now we finally got those stops, which enabled us to get two huge wins.